Let's go premiere test. So a larval. Um, when? Until when? It's this. Is this stress test going to happen? Well, I'm on vacation, so tomorrow I'll be at home, and I'm gonna see what's what this is all about. Oh man, this is this pack's awesome. Like we have this <laughs> this there. He draws us a card. Uh, if we have exactly 13 cards in our hand, we win the game. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Just saying. So, casting natural is actually quite, quite good. Uh, when he attacks, he adds mana. Till the end of turn, mana doesn't go away. Uh, Werewolves who control get plus one, plus one at night time. Uh, and he is a 3 3. Uh, and he also. Like, this locks us into Gruul right away. Uh, we can take one of these. Uh, Nice cards. We haven't played Gruul yet, so I'm leaning towards taking Casting Naturalist above uh, Locked in the Cemetery, the Fenestrate, and Olivia's Midnight Ambush. I, I really want to try this. People play this against me, and I'm always like, "Man, that's a nice card," and now I kind of bricked. <laughs> Never know the creature control dice plus plus one plus counter on target creature. This is very, very good. Here's another locked in the cemetery. Bat Whisper is fine. Uh, here's the Howl. Uh, get the Wolf of Werewolf and tap it. Plus 2 plus 10 Vigilance. It's good against the locked in the cemetery, I guess. If he's locked in the cemetery, he gets unlocked. So, I think it's between Aldrich's, Aldrich's Outrider and the Falcon Abomination. I like the Outrider. Cards in graveyards can't be the target of spells or abilities. Got disturbed. It's also very good. Man, this is actually very, very good. 3 2 that you investigate when no more creatures are put into graveyards from every, anywhere. Yeah. So, we can go either way. <laughs> Look at what he picked. <laughs> Against Death Touch, what does this do? Every casting sorcery spell put the charge counter. Remove enemy and charge counter deals that much damage to target creature. So. This is nice. There's also like Path of the Festival. It ramps us, and if we control three or more, three different uh, basics, we can scry one. I like Path. Especially since I don't really know what man I'm gonna be using. This seems like a very easy card. So is this, obviously. Um, flip the switch is okay. Uh, this type of card is usually underwhelming. But I'll, I'll take the ramp fixer. Oh man, Sunrise Cavalier and Borrowed Time! What the fuck? And another path! <laughs> wow! So... If I take a path here... Um, I need to pick some big creatures. If I wanna splash the Cavalier... Man, I really wanna splash the Cavalier. Never day becomes night, of night becomes day plus one plus one. Like, this... Gruul is gonna have a lot of werewolves. Instead of borrowed time? Yeah, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna go all in. Oh, we have Candle Trap. I, I really don't like Candle Trap in a Gruul deck. We can't attack in the air, so it's not gonna be that good. It's either the Sky, which is still underwhelming, or, or a very good trick. This is also okay, right? Doesn't give trample, this gives trample. But this throws me a card sometimes. I'm actually gonna take the, the, the creature. Snarling Wolf's okay. A fine card, usually unblockable. <laughs> oh, 
We've got the Dwarf Rejuvenator. It fixes my colors. Certified Artifact. Or Enchantment. When he attacks a Certified Artifact or Enchantment. This is a very good card. I, I have to take this. Now I have the Timber Timberland Guide. I like it. Yeah. It's good if I have a Wolf Turn 1. Yes! This is exactly the type of card I want. Like, it goes well on the curve, and I kind of want to ramp a little bit. Oh, there we go. Here's the wolf. Yeah, I'm gonna take the wolf. Man, locked in the cemetery still here. I'm not sure I'll play the this. Oh no, they took my path of the festival. <sighs> Which one of these cards am I not gonna play? <coughs> Ooh, God damn it! This is playable, but I'll switch it out for something better. I like like Snarling Wolf followed by a Timberland Guide. Seems good. Oh no! Here it is! The path! Yes! Double path uh, plus Shadow Beast Sighting. I want to pick as many Shadow Beast Sightings as I can. Sunrise Cavalier is totally playable as a 4-drop, by the way. Totally. It has haste and trample. It starts night and day cycle as well. Usually you want uh, the night cycle. Because our creatures are all way better. I mean, the f they, they nailed the flavor on the werewolves. It's perfect. I really, really like it. Oh man, I can't stop like thinking about this freaking foil card I got. This is amazing, look at this shit. The artwork and the foiling, it's really good, god damn it. <sighs> I love the smell of brand new magic cards. I'm addicted to this shit since I was like a child. I remember like the first time I had contact with magic card. Oh nice. This this is actually very nice. Um I don't think it's playable in my deck. <laughs> What's this? Spells with the chosen name. Yeah, this is completely unplayable. Oh I got the fight one. Um Performance like perf perforator. It's okay. There's an Evolving Wild, I wouldn't mind picking Evolving Wilds, but... Could you control attack, could you don't control? Uh, if we have Coven, we can put a plus one plus one counter. Uh, they fight. That's just it. This is what Gruul likes to do. Uh, lots of great white cards here. Uh, white players are spoiled for choice. There's a Falcon Abomination for the blue player. And an Evolving Wilds for the smart player. Um, Bird Admirer might uh, be something that I might get later, we'll see. But yeah, when I was little, like, my mom bought me a booster pack of... <sighs> I don't remember, but I think it was... What was it? I think it was the one that had, like, a sliver? Uh, like a worm, I don't remember. I don't really recall, but um, I distinctly remember like the artwork was like amazingly amazing and grotesque. I loved it. I was like, oh god damn, this is like a very adult thing. Um, and when I was looking at it, I was like, oh man, this this smells weird. So this guy's very good. When he enters the battlefield, a plus one plus one card for each creature that died. Question is, am I gonna splash for it? Or am I gonna splash for... I kinda like Sunrise Cavalier a little bit better, but... Grizzly Ghoul, it's a nice play of Path of the Festival. I can just take Timberland Guide and see if I can get another Snarling Wolf. I don't think I'm gonna play. The yeah, I'll, I'll take another Timberland Guide. Because Timberland Guide, it's either a bear, a 2 2 for 2, or it just pushes through some damage. 
here's something that we really want. Shadow Beat Sighting and a very good Werewolf. God damn, this, this is actually very, very good. 5 for a 6, 5 ward 1. Or an 8 7 at night with War 3. God, that, this is a powerful card. We got Borrowed Time, Shadow Beast. Man, th this pack's awesome. There's even a, a, an Infiltrate, which I'll gladly take and substitute. Oh, wait, this is a 2 drop. Substitute a, another card I have here. Yeah, this is this is just. This is insane. Like, if I play Path of the Festival and then I play the Burly Breaker. My opponent's in for a bad time. I'm almost mono green. <laughs> almost. Pay 2 for a 3 1. Pay block for creatures 2 or less. No, I'm actually gonna take the big dude here. Uh, we are. We have, like. We are okay in the early game. Although this is fine. I would love this over, like, my Pestilence Wolf. I would love him. But paying 5 for a 5. Uh, 4 or 5 Vigilance is actually what we are aiming to do here. Because I, I believe I can get at least one more path. Or uh, a card that gives me more mana. There we go. Villager. We can also splash for uh, the Fenestrate. But I have a good pick here, I'll take it. I really like... Uh, I, wa I want to have good creatures on this curve because Again, I, I believe I can at least pick one more path of the festival and then I'm gonna jump the 4 curve and go path into good creature. Oh man, this pack's kinda weak. I could go join the dance, but I'm not a very good dancer. I'll take the... Perforator. Again, I like him better than the wolf. I'll take the wolf. Yes! I We got this and the 5-5 five five that gains trample. But I kind of want this a little bit more. Because Shadow Beast Sighting something that we can flashback later in the game. So when we get... Um, when we get flooded, we always have something to do with 7 mana. Which is unusual. Like, usually when it... Whoa! This came back, no one's playing uh, black and green, like Golgari players are sleeping. Uh, this is only... Uh, it's not, this is not a, a traditional best of three. If it was, maybe Return to Nature will be a contender. Oh, nice, okay. Um, I don't mind it. So... These are our two splashes. We're gonna need to choose between one and another. Oh god damn it, this just made it easier. Yeah, I'm actually gonna scratch that. Oh, another Shadow Beast. Yeah. I might not be in, in red actually. I can take it. I don't think I'm gonna play two of these. Burn down the house deals 5 damage to each creature and each planeswalker. Whoa! We ate 3, double and these dice. Okay. But also another Liberator and another thing that I. 5 damage to each creature is not really something I, I'm aiming to do. I'm killing pretty much everything I have. It can save me sometimes, but I think I'll ra rather just have the very good 2-drop. Because we're gonna be curving out. We are very... like, we need presence on the board. Yeah, th this is just better for me. This might be a bad pick right here, but I feel like I'm gonna win more games when I curve out. Then the games that I'm gonna be waiting for my opponent to just nuke, like swarm me and then nuke the board. Not gonna happen as often. Not like <sighs> this is a miss. This pack's a total miss for us. We might go with the wolf, but we already have like good stuff on the <coughs> on the three drop. 
If only there was like an evolving wilds. I'll take the wolf, I guess. Here we go. I said we we're gonna get the third path. Here it is. If the path wasn't here, we could consider go. Uh, You could consider go with white. Nah, no, not really. Because eh, maybe or the blood pack. But here's the festival. We we really want to. There. Oh man, <laughs> we got another very powerful five drop. So what if I do this? Let me just. I'm gonna just check for something. This is cool, isn't it? I think this is a good. Oh man, here's borrowed time. I could splash when borrowed time with three paths of the festival. How insane is it if we go? I'm gonna actually go for this. Is that a card from a grave? If it's a creature, it gets plus one plus one. Yeah, this is very good. Three or more creature cards in our graveyard. Transform, yeah, that, that's a very good card. Now we have the aggressive one. Or the big one. I'm gonna take the big one. This can be very good. Maybe. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> okay, for, yeah, this is, this is just insane. <laughs> I could go like this. <laughs> Why would I go mono green with like four path of of the festival? <laughs> what are you sending, Dom? <laughs> when you don't know where to park. <laughs> Uh Oh god damn it, really? Yeah, I'll take another snarling wolf. I kinda don't like the bird admirer, I'm gonna be honest. So do you guys wanna go mono green just for the sake of memes? Look at look at this. Like I actually have Go straight to Nart. I legit have uh, a mono green deck here. How many creatures do we have? Cause I might not want to like I might actually want to like skip on this. And go for a, a revival. I'm losing this and this, or I'm losing the Grizzlies. Grizzlies are very good, but I have three Shadow Beast sightings on turn four. And I'm gonna be skipping turn 4 a lot. Oh man, I'm gonna go mono green. I'm, I'm even gonna like pimp my lands. And this is gonna work with 16 lands. Yeah, that sprout's gonna work well with a lot of my flashback cards. God damn it, I really like this deck. With some mono green style sleeves. This girl's really green. Uh, uh, let's go for the dragon. And green lands, some very nice artwork. I guess we can go with it. An inch. 
Let's do this! Mono green power! <laughs> no one was drafting green at our table. I feel like it was a, a free mono green draft. Like we have some powerful creatures, but I don't think we have like a bomb bomb that's very impactful. But like this is a, an okay start. I believe we can draw into a lot of powerful stuff. If we can have turn one attack and then uh, pump, then we're gonna start to fetch. This is actually gonna thin our deck a lot. Sacrifice counter target non creature spell. Yeah, that's what I thought was powered. With the Outlander. I can actually like play nothing. Just attack. I kinda wanna. Oh, I'm fine taking two. You should play something. Oh! This has, oh, this doesn't have Coven. So, I pump and then if I control 3. Because I, I will then control 3 cards. I can also just pump the... No, if I pump this guy, they all have 3 power. Okay. So you really want me to trade. Got Vigilance. It's vigilance not forever. Disturbs 3. No creature spells you control can't be countered. Yeah, he, wa he really wants that player. Yeah, okay. Oh, he just wants to do this. That's fine as well. It's daylight again. Do I pump? Man, I'm gonna lose because I'm drawing shit. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked with the Liberator. Or the Snarling Wolf. No, the Snarling Wolf should have attacked. Because now I think I might lose the game. Like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I'm flooded. Maybe I should play 15 lands. This card's really good. Really, really good. I'm drunk! I don't think he is! I'm getting played here. I don't think he's drunk. I think he knows exactly what he's doing. He's very sober. <laughs> he should actually, like, put a counter on the intruder. Oh, he doesn't want to. He wants to kill some more of my stuff. Oh, Teferi! Uh, yeah, that's a very... Sober thing to play. Some tapping stuff, yeah. I don't think I can win. For real, like... You just dropped at the ferry. <laughs> I guess my mono green. Go wolf! God damn it! I was kind of hoping you wouldn't block. I 
Like if that trans that if he gets the emblem, I'm dead. I'm probably dead even without the fairy, but it's going to attack and tap. It's annoying. even need the vigilance unless he yeah. and some think time only flows in one direction how come I still don't have mana for everything I lost, like he can just going straight on what's on the board I lost because he's gonna be able to like tap my stuff, block and just straight up um, yeah that, that, that's also fucked up and just straight up push him to 7 and then doing the ultimate why not attack? he can't tap him he should attack Oh, cause he... No, it's still, it's done. I'm gonna die quite fast. <sighs> God damn it. I don't think I have a car that can deal with what's happening. I'm still drawing lands. Just gonna concede what this wasn't like legit impossible. Not with this deck. Maybe I'm I'm being too greedy on wanting too mono green. Cause I, I believe like the red version is a tiny bit better. Like if I just tweak it a bit. Although I do like that guy. I kind of like the, the wolf. Do I have too many pets? I think I do. Oh, wait. Yeah, I need one more. Just gonna play like the wolf's gonna be good because uh, I'm gonna have I'm hoping to have so many mana that <sighs> yeah, this is okay. This is actually the type of hand I really want. We're gonna play a turn 5, 4, 3, haste. If he plays nothing here, it's gonna be devastating. Oh, he plays some. I'm just gonna do this. No attacks. Nightbound, oh boy. Let's do this then. This is very punishing. Very, very punishing. I drew my red card, so I'm happy. I don't like this. Death touch dude.
It was always gonna happen. Oh, that's gonna get fun. It's daylight again. This is a very good card. It's very nice. Oh no, again. I have no choice, have I? We got to attack. We should block the wolf. The 4-4. Four, four. God damn, that was kinda like... Um, hoping he will back out of it because I could have some kind of bump spell, but he didn't. This was a very risky for him to do I guess but it paid off um, I'm gonna play this for five vigilance I'm just gonna try to kill him now because zombie tokens can't block he actually can't attack me with a 6-6 six, six. so I go. If I draw land, I. Again! Like, this fucker has the perfect cards against me. He's attacking? Okay. I'm gonna go down to four. What's happening? Is he gonna like sacrifice all of his tokens and do stuff? He's going to imprison my 4-3. That's a start, I guess. Mm -hmm. He shouldn't attack me. He really shouldn't. I mean, with the zombie tokens, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Because the zombie tokens don't block, and now he gets a counter. Oh. I almost won. Yeah. Almost. I'm one mana short of winning. So he needs to play like uh it's only him. Probably two creatures, those are. There's only one. So I attack, this can't block, he blocks, blocks, takes four, I win. Right now I win the game. So yeah, so I, I drew every red card I sideboarded in. And, um,. Yeah, they are showing their worth. Because the wolf 
got me the game. We won the game because of the wolf. He said on board. He can attack me like with a 7 7 at least. But that's even worse. If he had two creatures that could have blocked, he should have played them. This is GG's. So that can't block, he blocks, blocks, takes 4 or 5, I win. Am I missing something? Doesn't have life. Plan. There we go. So it was worth it to put back the red cards. <laughs> Just saying. I really wanted to win with a mono green deck, but this is not the deck yet. Deck's just better with the red cards. Yeah, because like this is gonna. It's a very good mana sink. <coughs> it's a fine two drop, but has a mana sink. He's gonna work. Nero Max. Oh god damn it. That's an entrance. Okay, I kinda like this. We got Snarling Wolf. Pump the wolf. Play the beast. Play the hauler. I like that this guy is very strong. He looks like a giant, right? Oh, if I draw a mountain, this is gonna be awesome. I probably won't. We have five mountains. Oh no! He's playing with fire. Ah, god damn it. Very unfortunate. So we're gonna path and then play the Shadow Beast. If he plays a good 3 drop like the 3 2 that deals 2 damage to me, uh, we might lose this game. The 3 2 vampire. Oh, it's not. Nice. So we can still win. I'll actually have to choose between the Shadow Beast or the Hauler. Oh no. Oh no. We're gonna take 7, go down to 10. Yeah, we might lose actually. If he has a removal spell, we lose. Flat out lose. No land for real? If I had a land, the breaker will be cool. He might have the plus three plus one. Oh. Okay. No land! What the fuck, dude? You're going for, from flooded to screwed so fast.
trading two cards for one. It's not where I really want to be. Uh, uh. Yeah, let's play this. That's gonna that's gonna do it. Yeah. God damn it! He was so fast. Fast decks are really like dominating this format, I think. Turn one and two is so important. Like especially like turn two plays. This reminds me that there are formats where turn two plays is gonna determine a win or a loss. Others not so much, they drag on. I thought this format was gonna drag on. Since, you know, it has the night and day mechanic. But it's not really like that, is it? Yeah, this is a keep. Uh, we got the Cassic Naturalist, Duel for Dominance. We actually got kinda screwed back there, but, you know. Uh, I am playing 16 lands, but still, like, what the fuck? Got bats. It's a festival. <laughs> Is he gonna kill my naturalist? Like, ambush him? No? Are you gonna let me attack? That's so cool. Thank you, dude. Um, yeah, it can be red. I'll just play a beast. Oh no. I kinda don't want to attack into the hoarder. This guy bumps my dudes. If I trade, I then put the hole. Then I can fetch him. Well, let's do this actually. Six six vigilance. <laughs> Still dies to removal. Not that great of that. Yeah. Removing my graveyard's uh, beach move. I don't actually need to do this. Like, what's he gonna do? He's gonna take six. Shit's got vigilance. Yeah. <laughs> I know it got daybound, but now I have Coven. Also, if I draw a land, I'm gonna play two spells. 6-6 six, six Vigilance was really nice, though.
I want them to fight. Mm, yeah, it's going on top. Uh, it's attacking. God damn it. Oh, we got it. Might be a counter spell. It was just to land. Play nothing. Oh! Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. I feel like something bad's gonna happen. Oh wait, I don't have mana actually. I'm fucking screwed again, In incredible. Um Yeah, so this guy should have went down. Am I gonna lose? Fuck you, dude! Yeah, there's no coming back from this, I guess. <laughs> Oh man, this was such a disaster. Like, this was a fucking disaster. I shouldn't have kept the other one on top. This deck sucked. I thought I was building a cool deck and I wasn't. The illusion of cool. Hey, let's at least open some packs. See what I get. Maybe I'll get lucky. So I got two more packs here. These are set boosters, so they're gonna come with a card from the list. What was the other card from the list, actually? Uh, so we got the amoeba. Wait, I didn't get the card from the list on the other one. Yeah, these are all from Midnight Hunt. What the fuck? I got shafted. Maybe it's a. Uh, maybe it's not. It's only Sun that have it. Let's soothe my pain by opening some packs. So, don't do what I did there. That's why you guys should always watch my streams. Because when I fuck up... Oh man, this is a foil. Nice foil land here. Unruly mob. Uh, oh, I like this one. This is also a, an okay card. I don't like this. Don't recommend you guys play it. Basically, this makes a, an unruly mob. Might be okay, but... Eh. What does this do? As an addition cast this spell, sacrifice creature, draw three cards. Nice. Kinda costly. This is a very good creature. Puts counters. Oh, this is the artifact that, you know, I got turned around. I thought this was a bad card, but then... No, it's actually pretty good. Oh. Oh, man. The ooze. So whenever a land card is put into your grave, from anywhere, it gains plus one plus one. Remove three plus one plus one, return it to its owner's hand. 
When he enters the battlefield, return up to 3 target land cards from your graveyard to your hand. So this is very nice. 3-3-4-3 three, three, three with Trampler. Trample that gets pumped whenever a land goes into the graveyard. Very good with fetches and, you know, thermorphic expenses. Adeline, what the fuck? Adeline, Resplendent Cathar. Vigilance, uh, power equal to the number of creatures you control. Whenever you attack, for each opponent, create a 1-1 one, one human token. That's tapped and attacking. Nice. And uh, uh, a foil um, ship record to remind me of my first uh, Midnight Hunt draft. An insect token. Nice. Okay, so I actually enjoyed this one. So we got a cool foil mountain and a slurk. Pretty cool. Pretty cool guy. Let's see what we have here. So these were the packs I won in the pre-release. So I wasn't first, as you can see. Like I w won three, uh, three matches, lost one, and that lost cost me the <laughs> first place. So got my mountain, dual for dominance, howl of the hunt. So far, so bad. Uh, the stuff spare. Candle trap. Come on, I need to center this. Shadow be sighting. Scab Wrangler. Omnius Roost. For those of you that like to flashback, you can now have some crows. I really love the artwork on this guy. You can see the backside as well. So, casting naturalist. Oh, we just played with him. Uh, his artwork's nice. Check the back side. Lord of the Oven Wall. Nice artwork. Lisa! I actually. This is actually a really nice pick, isn't it? Like, whenever another non token creature control dies, return that card uh, to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next hand step. If the creature no opponent controls dies, exile it instead. Very nice. God damn it. Cool. Oh! A foil uh, rare. Let me see what it does. Uh, choose up to two target creature cards in your graveyard. An opponent chooses one of them. Return those cards to your hand. Return that card to your hand. Return the other uh, to the battlefield gain zest. So I don't really like it. Uh, but it's foil. Not bad actually. So this is gonna be it for today. I might go install Age of Empires to do the stress test. So it's probably online, right? Oh, man, this mountain is kind of sweet, isn't it? I knew they were having like troubles with. I saw some foil lands uh, made in America that weren't hollow, like this part wasn't foil. But the ones in Japan and in Belgium. Uh, made in Japan and Belgium seem to be nice. Like this was made in Belgium. It's okay. I have another one, another foil land somewhere, don't I? Let me check. No, so this is the foil map. Here I only have that one, I guess. But I, I got another. Others that. Let me see. This isn't foil, isn't foil. Oh, actually, this isn't the first foil land, apparently. Yeah, it's the only foil land I have so far. It should go on the foil pile. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. This is gonna be it for today. I'm gonna be drafting some more tomorrow. Didn't went as planned. So I'm gonna learn with my mistakes and uh, move on. Because I really like this set. It's fun. Subscribe, comment, and follow me for more. Follow me on Twitch.